Welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a radical equation. We have 4 times the square root of z minus z and that is equal to square root of 5. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method I'm going to go ahead and replace z with a plus b i. Is that gonna work? Probably not. Let's use something else. Maybe it's gonna work. You could also try the polar form z equals r e to the i theta. But I have a better idea. Let's go ahead and isolate the radical. And then square both sides. That way we'll get rid of the radical, right? This will become 16z, 16z, and this will become z squared. Yeah, sometimes, uh, I don't know, it's the static electricity, the pencil, or notability. I don't know which, what goes crazy, something goes crazy. This becomes z squared plus 2 root 5z plus 5, okay? And we can kind of put everything on the same side, z squared plus 2 root 5 minus 16, that's going to be the coefficient of z, plus 5 equals 0. Let's go ahead and solve this using the quadratic formula, right? z is going to be negative b, which is this, plus minus the square root of, b squared minus 4ac, which is minus 20. All of that is divided by 2a. Now let's go ahead and expand the radical. We get 4 times 5, which is 20. Uh oh, looks like something's going to cancel out, right? 20 plus 256 minus 64 root 5 minus 20. And 20s are going to cancel out. We're going to end up with this. And this can actually be uh, factored like we can take out, oops, I don't know how I turned that 5 into a 3. Real quickly, hocus pocus. Uh, factor out as 64 and that's going to give us 4 minus root 5. Great. Now, let's go ahead and square root that. Z is going to be 16 minus 2 root 5 plus minus. The square root of 64 times 4 minus root 5 divided by 2. And now 64, you can take it out as 8. And it just becomes the square root of 4 minus root 5. And all of that is divided by 2. Nice. So, and then obviously everything can be divided by 2. 8 minus root 5 plus minus 4 times 4 minus root 5. Can we denest this radical? I don't think so. You can easily test it uh, by squaring this number and squaring that number and looking at their difference. So in other words, whenever you have something like this, the first thing you should check is whether this is a perfect square. In this case, it isn't because it's 16 minus 5, so it's not denestable nicely, okay? So, those are the z values, but wait a minute, uh, are there only two solutions? Well, looks like it because this is a, a radical equation, maybe a quadratic in what, what way or in some way. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And maybe we could possibly come up with a third method, but I already talked about it. 4 root z minus z equals root 5, right? Okay. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and solve this as a quadratic. But what I'd like to do is I want to replace square root of z with something. How about w? Then this becomes w squared. And then we get 4w minus w squared equals root 5. And then this becomes w squared minus 4w plus root 5 equals 0, right? 
And then uh, by using the quadratic formula, we could find the values of W, hopefully, right? It will be negative B plus minus the square root of B squared, which is 16 minus 4AC, which is 4 root 5, divided by 2. And again, we can take out a 4, and that will be a 2. And inside, we're going to have 4 minus root 5. And one more time, if you divide everything by 2, you get 2 plus minus the square root of 4 root minus root 5. Well, this doesn't look like the values we found before, does it? No, because what we did was actually found W, not Z. What is the relationship? W is square root of Z. So this is square root of Z, okay? That wouldn't be too hard. Imagine it was the other way around, then you would have to square root this. But in this case, we're going to square both sides, right? Let's square both sides. And of course, you kind of need to consider the both cases maybe, or we could just do it at once. Square the first term, square the second term, and then plus minus to AB thing, right? The four times the square root of four minus root five. And then from here we get z equals eight minus root five plus minus four times four minus root five. Did it actually give us the exact same answer or did we get a different answer? Looks like eight minus root five plus minus four times the square root of four minus root five. So those two answers agree with each other. Okay. By the way, let me tell you something. This wasn't my initial plan, but it turns out that I guess uh, I me messed up with the, uh, the number on the right hand side. So let me show you real quick what my initial plan was. That's why it didn't turn out to the way I expected. But this was my plan. I think I was trying to do this problem and all of a sudden I just wrote it incorrectly in the thumbnail and anyways, in this PDF file too. So if we had the following equation, oops, I don't know why I'm squaring this. If we had, the or, if we had this equation with uh, the correct number, then you could pretty much do the same thing, right? You kind of write it like this and then square both sides. That would give you 16z equals z squared plus 10z plus 25 and you will get z squared minus 6z plus 25 equals 0. And then I think from here we're going to get non-real solutions. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what that looks like. Okay, real quick. All right, here, if we solve this equation, we're going to get negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So it's going to give us 36 minus 100, which is negative 64. And that should be plus minus 8i. And when you divide by 2, you're actually going to get nice solutions. 3 plus minus 4i. Do they really satisfy this equation? You can go ahead and check it out. But one thing to be careful about is the principal square roots because this is what it's meant to be. But anyways, I gave you some ideas. Hopefully you can take it from here. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.